Hello everyone, this is David with ATEC for Android. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cool application called Quick Reply. Welcome back everyone. So basically, Quick Reply is just like the Android Nougat notification reply, like you would get in your text messaging. Um, believe it or not, it's a very, very awesome app. I'm actually quite excited to show you exactly how this works. So the first thing you want to do is open up Google Play Store and type in Quick Reply Chat Heads. Um, you don't have to put Chat Heads, you can just also put Quick Reply. Once you see that, go ahead and download it and open up Quick Reply. Now, when you open up Quick Reply, you're gonna see, it's gonna say, uh, you know, grant access, etc., etc. Go ahead and do that. Once you go ahead and you finish that in general setup, um, you're gonna see this menu. You wanna go into main features first before anything else. Now, the floating chat heads, Quick Reply notifications, and a chat heads notification are basically three options you can choose from. But if you really want that Android Nougat look, um, as far as notifications in general, you want to go ahead and just turn on quick reply notifications. Automatically, it's not going to be turned on, so you would have to do that yourself. Once you go ahead and you do that, go ahead and hit the back key, and you're going to have an option here that says app settings. Click on app settings. Now, what this is, is for an example, if you get a Gmail under your notification and it has an option to where you can reply to an email, you can do that without leaving your current app, just like the Android Nougat. Um, so that is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, for right now, I just have these two set up. You have an option to select all your applications, but nine out of 10 times, they may not always work because some apps on your phone may not have that option to do quick reply. But Gmail and Hangouts are two number one things right now that I'm showing you just to give you a brief idea on how this is exactly going to work. And I'm going to show you that as well. Once you select your apps, you want to go ahead and hit the back button. Go to Reply Settings. Now in here you have a couple of things you can do. Um, you have an option to when if you get a notification and you open up your keyboard, you have an option here that says easy reply with voice input without typing. So you want to go ahead and check that on. Another option is write multiple messages. Long press send button to send messages and write another one. So if you want to go ahead and click that, you can. You can also add the features of emojicons, so you can actually have that besides the text, and you can add that if you want to. But like I said before, you have to go through this and just decide on what exactly do you want. But what I'm going to show you basically is just, you know, the basic concept of the settings checked, and, you know, just go ahead and give you that look. So right here in the top right, there is a button, okay? Click this for a test notification to give you an idea what you're getting yourself into. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then automatically, this is going to pop up when you get a text notification or a Gmail, uh, Facebook, Messenger, whatever. It's going to look just like this, okay? So I'm just going to hit OK, period, and then I'm going to send this, and then there you go. That's all there is to it. It's going to work in any app on your phone that's linked up to a quick reply option application, okay? So... Continuing further down, right here it says lock screen privacy. Quick reply pop-up will only open after unlocking your phone. You have the option to check that. If you don't want to, that's fine with you, with me as well. Um, send button icon, you can actually change this if you want to, to circle green, circle blue, icon white, icon gray, icon black, icon custom, or text. I prefer icon black. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Now right here it says text background. It's disabled, but you have the option to choose from one of these categories here. So let's just do line blue. Okay. Now you can hit the top right corner again, the play uh, icon. And once you hit that, you will see the blue button flashing. And once you hit say hi, you will see that it's not technically changed yet because we haven't really gotten to the system settings save mode so just go ahead and hit that um, reply box is floating above keyboard now you have this option to do this 
or you can have that option to post under your actual status bar so just to give you a quick idea I'm gonna go ahead and click it okay and then I'm gonna hit the test button again so now it's on the bottom instead of coming from the top of your status bar okay so you have that option if you want to keep that checked in or whatnot I prefer to uncheck it because I want that nougat feel okay right here it says Android nougat layout similar to Android nougat you don't have to have this checked in if you don't want to but if you want the look and feel of the nougat notification replies then I suggest you keep that checked in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back we're gonna get out of reply and we're gonna go into general basic settings now here you have the option that if you get a notification if you click it here you have the option to wake your screen directly so you can actually look to see what notifications you're getting so I highly recommend doing that um, you have another feature here where it says do not disturb don't show chat heads or heads up pop-ups from quick reply when one of these apps is opened so you have the option to do that and filter contacts and etc okay uh, contact image is also a feature you can do on here you have three of these options to choose from so once you choose those options go ahead and check that and then get out of general and now here is the main thing if you want the full features of quick reply you have to pay for the pro version okay now the pro version is not really all that expensive it's like a dollar or dollar 99 or something like that but once you go ahead and you purchase that you can actually go to this community right here because they have I think it's like monthly um, updates on this application in general so you might want to consider joining this actual Google Plus page and get more uh, reviews and answers to your questions or whatnot so after you do that just go ahead and hit the back arrow and get you back out of Google Plus hit the back arrow again let's close this out so go back here okay so open this app again so actually after you do that uh, like I said if you want to buy the pro version you can now smart wig is a recently added feature to this it's not necessary if you want it you can keep it but it's just like you know uh, the smart wake auto out of your pocket phone turns on etc etc so if you want this application by all means knock yourself out I haven't really tried it so I don't know if you have to pay for a pro version if there is any but anyways if you go back and you want to go ahead and just close everything out in general okay and right when you do that click on quick reply one more time and on the top right here three dots click on this and nine to ten times you might get double notification pop-ups now what that basically means is let's just say hypothetically okay that you're running um, yada SMS or Google Messenger as your text notifications okay and quick reply pops up with a message from whoever it is and your yada SMS is gonna pop up at the exact same time now once you do that you want to make sure before you set everything up for this to work correctly is what you want to do is go to your settings once you go into your settings go to general go all the way down to hit apps okay now I'm going to show you exactly how this works because if you don't do this correctly you're going to get double notifications and it's going to get on your nerves like it did mine so let's just say for example you have Google Messenger you're using that for your SMS quick reply is active you get a message from brother friend sister whatever okay you're gonna see double notifications if you're using quick reply for the nougat look on your messaging what you want to do is go all the way down to you see Google Messenger once you see Google Messenger just go ahead and open it up and it's gonna say permissions no, I'm sorry, notifications. Open up notifications. It's gonna say allow peaking. Turn that off, okay? That's gonna prevent double notifications. Once you turn that off, go ahead and go back to your home screen, refresh your settings, get out of everything that you had opened up. And to be honest, you might wanna restart your phone. That way, all the settings that you've done inside Quick Reply can be refreshed and it can work properly so I highly recommend you doing that but overall this app I give it a two thumbs up I've used it before 
and it is freaking awesome, okay? So I really, really, really hope you like this video. I was really excited to show you guys this. And um, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Other than that.